Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell. I post every Tuesday at 8 a.m. And so it's November 1st. Yeah, Halloween's over. Um, I have to wait 365 days for the next one, but that's okay. Uh, it was a success. I had, um, oh goodness, what was it, 81? kids maybe 80 there were a couple kids that um, I caught grabbing more than one candy so for the record I give out full-size Mars bars I'm I'm that I'm that house <laughs> and uh, because of the pandemic what I do is I set up the uh, a TV tray outside with all the Halloween candy on it and a sign saying you know please take one and I sit outside as well. I sit on the porch, uh, drinking hot chocolate and just, you know, talking to everybody that comes by and just, you know, telling them verbally, you know, please take one. And uh, it's kind of funny because some people misunderstand. I had a group of four uh, teenagers. Um, I think they were foreign exchange students because they were speaking a different language and they, um, they just took one. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, there's four of you. So take four, it's one each. And they're, oh, so, and uh, they were so happy. They're like, really? The one, the one girl would say, really, really? I'm like, yes, yeah, take, take four. There's four of you, one each. And so, yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool. And uh, there were a couple of kids that uh, took two, one little girl, I kind of like, ah, oh, I saw that. And she stops, she looks at me, I'm like, it's okay. It's Halloween, go, go ahead. So it was all good fun. And uh, there was one girl that came back like four or five times. Uh, it was cute because uh, she had on this like pink wig and she'd take the wig off. And then uh, like she had the wig on, she took a chocolate and then she like went down the street and then she came back but with the wig off but the rest of the costume was still the same. And she uh, took another chocolate and then <laughs> she came back again. Um, when I was in the house because it was it got quite cold uh, so I went in the house to warm up and she came back and again she took one <laughs> so but with the wig on or wig off yeah so anyways it was it was funny all told uh, there were 81 chocolates taken um, but the actual number of trick-or-treaters is probably in the high 70s but I thought it was cute and I had a good time Trick-or-treating wasn't the only thing that happened uh, for me this Halloween weekend. I carved some pumpkins. I wore um, a bit of an outfit. Not really. I don't have a full costume, um, but I'm working on compiling a steampunk outfit. And so far I have a cloak. I have a steampunk hat that I've made, but otherwise uh, I don't have anything yet to go with the costume. I'm going to be adding to it a little bit at a time until I have a full outfit. But uh, for this Halloween, I just wore the cloak and the hat. Um, but the hat was pretty good. And yeah, so I'm going to show you on this video, I'm going to show you my pumpkin carving that I did. I'm going to show you my um, my candy set up uh, for giving out. Because of the pandemic, I've come up with this uh, TV tray in the middle of the walk thing. So I'll show you that. And... What else? Oh, and of course, the steampunk outfit. <laughs> I'll show you that too. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, here's me carving the pumpkin. Uh, nothing all that exciting. I made myself a pumpkin spice latte, as in I made a cup of instant coffee and put some pumpkin spice creamer in it. I don't have a steamer or anything like that, so... Uh, yeah, it was just basic pumpkin spice coffee. So, because I thought it was appropriate to drink pumpkin spice coffee uh, when I'm carving pumpkin. So, this is it. Um, I didn't cut the opening large enough on the first one to be able to stick the scooper in, so I scooped out everything by hand. And I was surprised at the amount of seeds. There were a lot of seeds in there. I took a brief brief break to wash the seeds and while I did Olive took the opportunity to check out everything 
she's a bit of a scaredy cat so you can see her kind of sniffing and backing away from things it's kind of funny um out of my two cats twig is the brave adventurous one uh, olive is inquisitive but uh afraid that everything is going to come alive and attack her apparently so <laughs> you can see she's kind of sniffing around the the top uh she sniffed my drink sniff the top or the lid of the pumpkin and for a while there she kind of just kind of hung up by the camera um so i cut that part out but she uh, has gathered up her courage and she is now approaching the large orange spear that mom was playing with she's checking out all the tools and uh, yeah here she goes she goes in for the sniff and has no idea what it is so <laughs> i love the the look on her face and uh, how she's kind of checking everything out and then she's kind of like no 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 uh, i don't want any part of this i don't know what this is i don't like it so after inspecting everything she uh went on her merry way <laughs> So I got back to it. Uh, obviously, I drew out the face, um, and yeah, just proceeded to uh, cut it out. So here is that. <laughs> So I just wanted to pop back in here. You'll see the door open behind me a little bit. Um, that is not a ghost. Uh, I did not get uh, spirit visitors during Halloween. Uh, that is my cat, uh, particularly that's Olive. She was in that, um, I call it the secret room. It's a space behind the bookcase. And you can see her there. She does open up the door uh, pretty wide as she's going about her daily routine yeah they love to to play in that secret room so that's why the door is open so nobody panic so i put two pumpkins out in my planters and i put a little bit of fall foliage with them as you can see here Okay, so I've got the candy laid out for trick-or-treating and for social distancing, I put it on a TV tray that I drape with this orange ghost face, Ooh, pumpkin face cloth over it. It's sagging a little bit, oh well. I put out a sign saying, please take one, happy Halloween. And yeah, it's not dark enough yet so you can't see the pumpkins lit. But uh, yeah, this is what I do. I just keep an eye on it. It gets pretty cold. We're only like, we only hit four degrees today. And uh, as the sun's going down, we, we sun, sun has already left the horizon. Uh, it's gonna be getting cold. Um, There's probably gonna be like zero when the kids come trick or treating. But anyways, I am ready to go. I'll show you what the pumpkins look like all lit up. Okay, so there's a jack-o'-lantern lit up. A little flickering plastic candle inside one and two alrighty the other two are around here here's one here we go four all together okay so here is my Halloween hat um, I made a steampunk hat so I got this basic hat um, online it came with the goggles and then I added gears and feathers. Um, the bow, the bow in the back, that came with the hat as well. And so on this side, I attach more gears, a chain, and a gear butterfly. So yeah, so that's the hat that I decorated. Okay, and so here's what the hat looks like on. So let me flip this around. 
There we go. So there's a hat on my head. You can see the feathers, the goggles, and the chain. Switch hands. There we go. So that's a steampunk hat. I started. To, it's November first, so I've started to take down the decorations. I went out this morning to take the lights out of the pumpkins because I had left them in there and just figured, oh well, I'll get them in the morning. The pumpkins are frozen. I can't get the the tops off, and I tried shaking the pumpkins to get the the light out. It it won't come out. So I have to wait for it to warm up. Um, it got down to minus twelve last night, and right now it's. Um, about 5 to 11 in the morning and it is yeah it's minus 5 yeah okay so maybe this afternoon the pumpkins will thaw enough for me to take the light out if not what I'm gonna do is I'll just pull them in the house let them thaw in the house and uh, then I'm going to uh, put them back outside I We'll be breaking up a couple of the pumpkins and leaving them out because in my yard I get deer that come by in the evening and first thing in the morning and they like to eat the pumpkin. Uh, I, oh, as well as some squirrels like to eat the pumpkin too. So I will be leaving the pumpkin for them. I don't know if they'll eat all four, um, but you know what? I'll just leave them out there and if they start to look a little too saggy and mushy, you know how the, the pumpkin will like collapse down and start to rot um yeah I'll be chucking that out when it's nice and frozen <laughs> okay so or I might compost it <sighs> yeah because the ground isn't frozen yet for a second there I was like wait is my ground frozen mm, no not yet so um I might bury them just to like break them up into pieces and, and bury them for composting um which would be perfect because that'll help the soil in the spring and when I plant my garden the soil should be full of nutrients yeah. So I hope you had a wonderful Halloween and let me know down below. Do you get dressed up for Halloween? Do you hand out candy? Uh, did you do something like I did where I set up the, the table to do the social distancing stuff or now the kids came to the door, you handed out the candy directly or did you mask up and use tongs? I've heard some people use tongs to hand out candy and stuff. Yeah, so anyways, tell me about your Halloween down below, and until next week, I hope you guys stay happy and healthy. Yeah, that's it. Take care, everybody. Bye.